All right, today I think I'm going to go ahead and start her figure. I'm not going to do anything more than just lock it in. I need to have, get a feel for what this is all going to look like once it's all done. And uh, the cowboy is almost done, except for his hands and uh, some details in his head and face and stuff like that. But I'll get to those another time. But right now, I just want to get this to a point where I have a feeling of what it's going to look like, if it's worth even going on with it. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've taken her off the log temporarily, and I will put her back on the log after I get her sketched in. This is just so I can get it sketched in in a more comfortable manner than I would uh, be able to do with her on the log. As you can see, I put a little support with a, a fondue stick going into the board here just to keep her from moving up and down as I work on her. It'll still go sideways, but uh, not as bad as, as it going up and down would be. So anyway, I'm just... Uh, that's too thick of a shoulder. <laughs> okay, let me get this figured out here. I gotta have one and a half heads for the uh, width of the shoulder. And that's about right there. All right, I'm just finishing up. Uh, I'm not going to do this arm because I've got work to do on her body and her dress. I'm not going to be able to do that arm until I get done with all that. But this gets her at least blocked in. I can see how she relates. And uh, when I get ready to do her head, it'll be a lot easier to do that when I got her blocked in. All right, I decided to put her arm on after all. I can always move it after I get it, uh, when I get ready to uh, do her body and her dress. This just gives me uh, the position for the hand and everything. All right. Yeah, that helps me to see how it looks from every angle. And it actually works pretty darn good from every angle now. Whereas before it didn't. All right, let's get busy on the cowboy. Okay, I'm gonna finish his uh, chaps. And then I can work on his pants in the back. All right, the thing that's different about pants in that period of time was they're not Levi's. They were more than likely, I don't remember the title or the name of the brand of pants. I used to know, I can't remember. It's been 20 years since the last time I even wore a pair of these pants in a play. I was in an outdoor play and uh, I had to wear these kind of pants. They're made out of a canvas-like material, and they had a strap in the back, which I'm putting on here, that cinched up so you could make it fit your waistline. They didn't have pants in different sizes, large, extra large, small, 
they came in one size and you had to make them fit yourself by uh, adjusting the strap in the back. Now this is probably going to be covered up by the belt in the back that connects or he hitched his uh, shafts on with and it's going to have a knife back here too. So all that's going to probably be covered up but I got to have at least it indicated and then I can work out the uh, wrinkles in the pants to correspond with uh, the belt. Or the cinch, or whatever you call the thing. He had one pocket, one rear pocket, and it would be right back here. Okay, and I'm I'm going to put the uh, belt part of the uh, shaft on this is the buckle okay I'm putting the knife on This would be his everyday whatever knife. Whatever he needed it for, that's what he would have it for. Looks pretty good. Kind of like having a buck knife on your uh, belt. All right. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to uh, be down here probably tomorrow for a little while. I've got some people coming by to pick up their bronze of over the next mountain. My Jim Bridger piece that I did. They purchased it a while back, and uh, I've been holding it on to them. They said they were going to come by and pick them up. Pick them up. Uh, sometime in June, and tomorrow's the day that they're doing it. But I am happy the way this is turning out. Um, it's, been an, it's been an adventure doing him, <laughs> for sure. I've still got a lot of work on him to do, a uh, neckerchief, his head, but uh, I like the way it's turning out. By the way, the idea for the uh, knife I got that from uh, Tombstone as well, the movie. Uh, the cowboys would carry a knife on the back of their belt. Made sense to me. All right. Good night, everybody, and uh, happy trails, <laughs> so to speak. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.